Hey guys, I'm Tom, the tech chap. I can't believe that worked. And this is the new Honor 70. It's Honor's new mid-range-ish phone. Obviously, we had the Magic 4 Pro recently, which is their flagship. This guy starts from about 480 pounds. So firstly, a big thank you to Honor for sending this out and also sponsoring this video. Although, as always, all opinions are my own. And the first thing you might notice is it's pretty light. Also, this video looks different because I'm actually filming this intro on the Honor 70 in 4K because the camera tech in this is one of the headline upgrades, including a new IMX800 sensor. So we'll have a lot of play with that in a minute. Now, as well as the Honor 70, they've also announced this guy, the new Pad 8, which is basically a cheap and cheerful Android tablet. 280 quid for a 12 inch, 520 gram, tablet. If you want a big screen experience that maybe you want to pair with your Honor 70, like a fine wine to a delicious meal, because they both do support Honor Share, it could be a nice combination. But this is why you're here, so let's talk about the Honor 70. Okay, let's get this unboxed. And to answer your first question, yes, this does have Google services and the Play Store, so you can get all the apps on this. Honor has no restrictions. And over the last couple of years, they've produced some pretty incredible phones, as well as laptops, tablets, watches, earphones. There's a big old Honor family now. And so in the box, we have the phone, which makes sense, a protective case, some paperwork, a SIM ejector, as well as the USB-C cable, and also this 66 watt Honor supercharger. And here it is. Now, the first thing you'll think when you pick this up is, ooh, that feels nice. It looks good as well. This definitely looks and feels more premium than you'd expect for the price tag. And a lot of that comes down to these curved edges, which Honor call their super dual curved screen. Now, I know not everyone is a fan of curved edges. I'm not particularly either. Although the screen itself doesn't actually curve all that much. It kind of just blends into the rounded frame. Although there is a noticeable darkening on the edges of the screen where it becomes almost translucent. I guess because the bezel is so small, you could say that is the screen bezel. The screen itself is a big 6.67 inch OLED display. It's also full HD plus resolution and we get a dynamic 120 Hertz refresh, which helps everything feel nice and responsive. Plus we also get 1920 Hertz PWM dimming, which can help reduce eye strain. Around the back, we have this familiar Honor dual ring camera setup. Now I have the midnight black model of the Honor 70 here, which is a little bit tricky to show off on camera. The whole thing though is surprisingly thin and light for its size at just 7.91 millimeters thick and weighing 178 grams. So as the cliche goes, it feels good in the hand. It's a lovely design, but I do have a couple of criticisms. Firstly, there's no water resistance. We don't have an official IP rating with this. No headphone jack or micro SD card support, which is never guaranteed, although on mid-range phones, sometimes they can surprise you. Uh, we do get dual SIM, 5G of course though. Also no stereo speakers, just this bottom firing one. So if you're watching videos or playing games, the sound can be a bit one-sided. So altogether, there are a couple of compromises with this. Now on the inside, the Honor 70 is powered by the Snapdragon 778G Plus, which to be honest is getting on a bit and the Plus doesn't really add much, although Honor have tweaked it to get a little extra boost. So yes, the Snapdragon 870 or the newer 7 Gen 1 would have been nice to see, but as always, it all comes down to cost. It's a balance and this is still very capable and it's plenty fast enough for the most demanding games. And running in the background, we have Honor's OS Turbo X, which manages the phone's resources so you get the best performance possible from the hardware. We do also get eight gigs of RAM and that's boosted with extra two gigs of Honor's RAM Turbo. And that's paired with either 128 or 256 gigs of storage, which actually only costs an extra 50 quid. And altogether, it does feel fast. The 120 Hertz refresh is a big help, but also the Honor Magic UI 6.1 software, which runs on top of Android 12, does a good job at keeping everything running nice and smoothly. Now there are some pre-installed apps, AKA bloatware that you might want to get rid of, but we also get Honor Share, which lets you seamlessly share files, photos, and documents with your Honor laptop or tablet, such as this new Honor Pad 8. More importantly though, Honor say that we'll get two full Android updates out of the Honor 70, two years of support, which is okay, three would have been better. Okay, I've saved the best till last. Let's talk about this camera. And we get a 54 megapixel main lens that uses an industry first one over 1.49 inch IMX 800 sensor. And that's along with a 50 megapixel ultra wide, which also doubles as a macro, as well as that two megapixel depth sensor. And then on the front, we have a 32 megapixel selfie. So the only thing missing really is a telephoto lens. So we're not getting any kind of optical zoom here. 
Swipe over to the More tab and there's even more modes to play with, and you can edit and then drag your favorites to the main carousel for quicker access. One of the interesting new modes is this solo cut that lets you create portrait style videos that spotlight a specific person in a group using some very impressively named technology called person re-identification and person temporal tracking. Video tops out at 4K and we also have this multi-video if you want front and back video recording simultaneously. And in terms of photos, the new sensor helps keep noise to a minimum, there's a good amount of detail and colors look natural. I do wonder though if the ISP in the slightly aging Snapdragon chip holds back that camera at all. I wonder if a more powerful or newer processor uh, would get you more from the IMX800. Now just a quick mention of this guy, the Honor Pad 8. If you just want a big screen, lightweight, nice companion to your phone, this is not bad at all actually. Yes, the specs won't blow you away, viewing angles aren't the best, but it's a 12 inch full HD screen. It weighs just 520 grams. We have a couple of cameras, can't really complain for the price. And if you're just watching movies, doing some web browsing, showing documents, not bad at all. So I think the Honor 70 gives a really good first impression. I need to spend more time with it to get a real sense of the battery and what the camera is capable of. But for £480, yes, there are some compromises uh, and it's missing a few features, but it's definitely worth considering. And actually to sweeten the deal, if you buy this before the 16th of September, then you'll also get a pair of Honor's Earbuds 3 Pro for free, which normally cost £170. So that does make this a lot more interesting. But what do you think? Tempted? Let me know what you make of the Honor 70 in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, a like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And I'll catch you next time right here on The Tech Chat.